Good morning party people welcome back to another van update today today's big news is i'm gonna start laying out the solar panels on the roof of the van uh, so i am going to cut out a template from cardboard to kind of uh, get an idea about how much space they're going to take up and about where i'm going to position them on the van and we also have a conduit um, plastic piece that we need to put on the top and drill holes through the top of the van to feed the actual electrical cables through the top of the van as well so we got to figure out where we want to put that so I have three of these 100 watt Renogy solar panels uh, that I've been uh, keeping in the house here. I haven't even opened them yet. And today I'm gonna open this box and I'm gonna try to probably use either that piece of cardboard or maybe a piece of cardboard from that box, depending on the length, to cut at least one template and then I'll outline, I'll put the template on top of the van and outline the template a bit, at least in the corners with some uh, painter's tape. And that will give me an idea about how much space that they will take and see if there's room to leave uh, space for a maybe potential fourth panel in the future and where I would lay out the actual uh, uh, conduit piece for the electrical cables as well. So let's get to it. an exact replica these are the monocrystalline flexible solar panels uh, I'm gonna try to get three on top and see if there's room for a fourth so I was just reading up on the solar panel and looking at the specifications they say leave a quarter inch between panels um, for thermal thermal expansion of the frame but these are the flexible ones I don't think there's really any uh, any major specification around distance between flexible panels at least I didn't see it but we'll probably leave a quarter inch just for good measure I don't think those flexible panels are going to expand a quarter of an inch um, but I think the rigid panels that have the uh, aluminum frames probably would so I don't know just to be on the safe side we'll leave a little bit in there all right party people since it's so windy outside I'm gonna actually spray paint what that makes no sense So we're going to continue the solar install today. It's supposed to be nice 60, mid 60s and uh, 5 mile per hour winds which is much better than the 10 to 15 that we have been having. So I've kind of laid out the first panel here with the uh, painter's tape on where it would actually sit. Um, that would give me minimal shading from the vent and then uh, get me enough room to put three panels on top of this van. And I'm kind of going to bias it over to the passenger side just a bit because I need to install um, a through grommet here uh, for the uh, solar cable. So uh, I want that to sit a little bit further up on the van so it's not as conspicuous from the side. So uh, it's not much of a uh, bias, but uh, it's just enough, I think, that uh, it'll, it'll help kind of hide the visibility from the side of the van looking from the driver's side. So, all right, let's get started. panels to the roof with the uh, 3M VHB double-sided tape uh, we'll see how good this stuff holds but uh, yeah so that's what it currently looks like there's about a little more than a quarter of an inch between the panels I left a little bit of room between the vent fan and the uh, adjacent panel uh, in order to uh, minimize shading from the vent Okay, so I've drilled the hole in the top, and this is going to uh, house the 
plus and minus uh, cables from my solar panels and they'll go through this uh, little uh, cable inlet here and uh, so what I've got to do now is put some primer and some paint on this little hole that I cut out and then I will insert a rubber grommet in there and then we'll uh, bond this down with some double-sided tape and then I can start to cable them up the uh, cabling up the solar panels and uh, running the those to the inside of the van. So let's do that. All right. Yeah, I've got some primer around the uh, hole, and I've got my rubber grommet in. So now I'm just going to rough up the surface, and we'll bond our cable conduit to the top of this roof. So I just have some. 3M VHB double sided tape around the cable conduit and again this is just a bonding agent. I will seal this with uh, Dicor lap sealant, the uh, self leveling type. And I'll go all the way around the edge of this uh, flange with it. So that should give us a nice tight, tight marine seal. So, Alright, let's do it. Alright, we have our uh, cable conduit cable conduit bonded to the top of the uh, roof of the van and so now I am going to wait for it to dry just a little bit then I'll come back and hit it with some Dicor self leveling lap sealant and we'll let that cure up and then we'll be able to cable up the solar panels and just kind of run the cable to the inside of the vehicle. Alright All right, boys and girls cable conduit Sealed with lap sealant, self leveling. So, uh, yeah, we're ready to uh, cable up some solar. Alright, that'll do it for the uh, solar install until I get the batteries, the uh, charge controller, the isolation manager, the battery guard, all of the electronic stuff. Uh, hasn't arrived yet plus I need to build out some of the skeleton of the inside of the van before I start uh, Pulling some of the cables through so uh, that'll do it for this part of the solar installation All right like comment subscribe, please subscribe click the post notification bell You get notified of all new uploads and you know what to do until next time skill up and ride Van up and go